Taking its name from the Spanish word for race, the Hoya Carrera has been linked with motorsports from the very beginning. On Instagram, we were often asked about our favorite vintage chronograph, and here's the answer. I'm Felix, and in today's video, we want to give you a closer look at the whole story behind one of the most iconic vintage chronographs on the market. So let's roll the intro and get into today's video. Since the creation of the brand, back in 1860, Hoyer was specialized in stopwatches and also chronographs. It is important to know that instruments for sports, dashboard timers or chronographs were the core business of the brand. At the end of the 1950s and at the beginning of the 1960s, the interest in chronograph with watches grew and Hoyer, already having a lot of watches in the collection, needed to develop something sportier something in line with the current trend for motorsports. Also, other brands like Omega and Rolex were active in that field with the famous Speedmaster and the Daytona. Let's start our short historical journey when in 1958, Jack Hoyer joined the company. He was the great grandson of the founder of the company and guided the brand as CEO for 20 years from 1962 to 1982. And as we will see, Jack, the fourth generation head of the brand, will be responsible for the development of some of the most important products in Hoyer's history. He was young, dynamic and had a big passion for motorsports. And while Hoyer have made a number of fantastic watches over the history of the brand, the model that captures the spirit of the brand best is the Carrera. It was launched in 1963, uh, designed by Jack himself, but the real story begins even earlier. In 1959, Jack moved to New York, and that was the reason why he met in 1962 the Rodrigo brothers at the 12 hours of the evening race in Florida, uh, where Hoyer was the official timekeeper. And it was through the brothers that Jack first heard about one of the most dangerous and at the same time fascinating races of all time, the Carrera Panamericana. It was a border-to-border -border sports car racing event on open roads in Mexico, running for five years from 1950 to 1954. And because of too many fatal accidents, the road race was held for the last time in 1954. However, back in 1962, the race no longer existed, but Jack found the, the name and the background story very interesting. Just the sound of the name itself, Carrera, elegant, dynamic, easy pronounced in all languages and charged with emotion. And upon his return to Switzerland from the US, he registered the name. So in 1963, Jack Hoy decided to answer the growing demand for pure motorsport inspired chronographs. And the Carrera was born. It is so iconic that any chronograph they produced before the release of the Carrera in the 60s is automatically referred to as pre-Carreras. As you can see it on this model with the reference 2444 out of the beginning 60s. This three register chronograph looks really similar to the first Carrera models, but without the Carrera script above the Hoyer logo. With the name in his back, Jack started to design a watch for race car drivers with one single goal, to develop the most legible chronograph for the wrist. Because of his engineering background, Jack was able to apply his principles of product design to develop this clean, uncluttered, ultra legible and reliable instrument to measure time and average speed during races. The first generation, known as the reference 2447, existed from 1963 to 70 and in various models with a wide range of cases, dials and colors, but all sharing the same overall design. The Carrera was immediately a success. The simple, new, clean design came at the right moment and that was the reason why Hoy started to make additional versions. First delivered in single tone, mostly silver, the watch quickly evolved a two-tone design for enhanced legibility and several versions of the Hoyer Carrera 2447 existed with two sub-counters like the Carrera 45 and 30 with a 45 or 30 minute register and with three sub-counters like the Carrera 12 with a 12 hour register. Subsequently, several other models uh, came on the market, like the 
Carrera Dato, Tachi, Dezi, or the Carrera Black, which model we do have here. And every, every single watch was a different purpose. And all these models were only available in steel or gold plated with one exception. The Carrera 12 was also available in 18K gold and is very rare on the market today. As I told you in the intro of the video, the Carrera is one of our most favorite vintage chronographs and especially with this beautiful all black matte dial. And there are more than just a few reasons. Like all Carreras, our model with the reference 3648N in 36mm has a clean, uncluttered and simple dial without any decorative elements. Just to focus on the essentials, readability combined with the chronograph function. It results in a watch that reflected the Bayesian theory of form following function, which leads to elegance and simplicity. Firstly, let's pay attention to the logo. In our opinion, it is one of the most well-shaped logos in watch history. And the name Carrera embodies all characteristics of this beauty in perfection. The gold-plated case features thick, long, angled lugs, and the narrow, non-rotating bezel creates more room for the dial to be the center of attention. The highest stamped crown, flanked by the famous design twin pushers, is ideal for daily winding. The matte black dial is designed for legible and accurate reading under any condition. It features clear gold baton hour markers with luminous dots and a black outer one-fifth second division on a white ground. The angled edge on the bezel actually makes the dial look larger than it is in reality and allow an extra precision in the reading taken from the chronograph. The slightly recessed subdials at 3 and 9 for 45 minute recording and seconds are well integrated and support the classy overall look. All of these watches were hand wound until 1970. An important thing to keep in mind as the future of the Carrera changed drastically after this date. Most were equipped with outsourced movements such as the value 72 and the value 92 and back in the days Hoyer was a watch brand, not a manufacturer. The 70 2 was used for 3 register and the 92 for 2 register Carreras and the value 72 movement is the same used in Rolex Daytona, Daytonas of the same period. The second generation Carrera was launched in 1969 and announced the arrival of the world's first automatic chronograph movement, the Chronomatic. This second generation Carrera continued through the 1970s but as that decade came to an end so did the ascent of the Carrera. As you all know, the 1980s were difficult times for the Swiss um, watch industry and Hoyer was no exception. The arrival of quartz movements did not benefit the Carrera and Hoyer tried everything to keep it alive and presented several models with battery powered calibers, but unfortunately the Carrera could not survive and the production had to be stopped in 1984. So Jack Hoyer was forced to sell the company to a consumption of investors. In 1985, Piaget Nouvelle Le Magna sold Hoyer to the TAC Group, a company with investments in high-tech industries, aviation and Formula One racing. So unfortunately, every history has an end. That's all for today. We hope you enjoyed the video. And if you want to support us, to support our channel, we would be very thankful if you give us a thumb up and have a great day. Hope to see you in our next video.